Hello everybody, here we are. We're in the middle of a workshop and um, we've got here Bonnie and Jill from the Spokane Potters Guild, Washington State, USA. I'm very privileged to be wearing one of their aprons. So, <laughs> and then we have <laughs> Linda. <laughs> And Linda and Dan, who are from Cardiff in the United Kingdom. So anyway, just to, was really just to show off this wonderful apron I've been given. Anyway, what we're really about is making a bowl with a pouring lip. <laughs> so, oh. yeah, if you've got any questions, just feel free to shoot. Don't worry that I'm filming. So, I'm just, there we are. Okay, let's go. This is about 800 grams of clay. And, um, I'll move that out of the way. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> it's your gauge, isn't it? Start again tomorrow. Clear cylinder. So, centering up the clay, toning up and centering down. Of course, doing a bowl, it's easier in some ways doing a bowl than a cylinder because the clay naturally wants to, wants to open out. Now with these, this is a sort of small kitchen mixing bowl, kind of bowl you use to put a couple of eggs in and beat them up for an omelette or something like that. It's going to have a rolled rim. We'll just quickly do that. Now the good th the thing about bowls, oh I haven't got a sponge here. Oh, that's alright, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one of these one of these ones from mud mud tools or something. Is it called mud mud tools? Mm -hmm. Familiar with that? Yeah. Comes from the so what we want to what we want to aim at with a bowl, especially some kind of mixing bowl, is a nice, smooth, continuous curve there on the inside, an uninterrupted curve. All right. Now with these I don't trim them, but I use my throwing stick to really get down to business down there and cut in with the with this throwing stick underneath there and that will only require me to will only require me I wonder what that was from him. <laughs> Maybe it's the dog. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Anyway, there we are. So, taking my chamois, just going to leather the rim. Bit of a squeak on the other wheel today. What I do is with these now, we're going to do a sort of pulled lip here. So just get that in the picture. So holding it there and then just simply that acts as a um, 
if you have a spoon or something the spoon can rest there or it just serves as a place to pour, pour out your your egg mixture or your sauce mixture um, and you want it so that's it there we are going to cut it off pull it towards me in this case Sticking on a bat. Comme ça. Well, there we have it, folks. The small mixing bowl, which is a, actually a very saleable item. And if you can manage to find a nice wooden spoon to go with it, it make it, it's a very the women folk they immediately see use for that and they think, I've got to have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay folks, it's Simon Leach here saying, keep practicing. Hang on in there. Take care, we'll see you soon. Bye now.